Welcome to Family Worship. It's great to have you with us this morning as we worship together, learn more about God from the Bible and pray together. And it's great to have you back with us, Laura. Why don't we see who's here this morning? If you're here from Torches, why don't you get up off the sofa and say hello to us? Hello. Hi, Torches. Sparklers, are you there? Tell us that you're there by standing up and shouting hello. Hi. Hi, Sparklers. Fireflies, if you're here this morning, why don't you jump up off the sofa and say hello to us? Hi, Fireflies. And Crash, if anyone is there from Crash, can you give us a wave and say hello this morning? Hi. Hi, Crash. It's great to see you too. Now we know everyone's here, we're ready to get started. Hi, Tom. What are you doing here? I'm about to run the Durham Marathon. And I'm really excited. I've been training all year for it, but it's a long way. It's 26 miles, so I have to make sure I get the pace right. Wow, that's fantastic. Well done for all that training you've done. Well, I guess you're going to need to warm up. We're about to warm up for our first song this morning, so we could do it together. Yeah. Okay, everyone at home, stand up, get off your sofa. We're going to need to do our warm up for worship this morning. So I think we need to start with some high knees, get those legs ready for running. So put your arms out, can you get those knees up to your hands? I'm not sure I can. See how you can do it. And then let's see if we can do some kicks. See if you can touch your hands. Keep going, keep going. Now we're gonna to need to do some arm circles. Stick those arms out and we'll do little circles. Start nice and small, get a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. How big can you make those circles? Oh, good stretching, everybody. And finally, I think we're going to have to do some star jumps. I think we could manage five. So, one, two, three, four, five. Fantastic. Tom, well done. I think you better get off to the start. Yeah, I'll get going. We need to get ready for our song. So we're going to sing great things all about Jesus, who is the ultimate hero of the faith. Why don't we welcome Sophie as she comes to sing with us? Are we ready? Off we go. Be faithful forever 
week, Laura, we met some of the heroes of the faith. It was so exciting. We met Moses and David and Esther and Daniel. And I learned that they did all these amazing things that we learn about in their stories, not because they were amazing, but because they had faith in God and it was God's power that saved them. That's incredible. What fantastic examples of faith. I really like Esther. I'm so inspired by her but I don't think I could ever have as much faith as she did. How can I follow God like she and the other heroes of the faith did? Surely God could never do anything as cool through me. Well, I think today's chapter of Hebrews is gonna help you with that. It talks about how all these heroes of the faith, like Esther, are kind of cheering us on, on our journey of faith. Why don't you go and find your Bible, find Hebrews 12? Great, okay, I'm gonna go and get my Bible. Why don't you guys at home go and get yours too? Okay, Laura's going to get her Bible. Do you think that you could beat her? See if you can go and find your Bible in your house. Are you going to get back before Laura gets back? Go, go, go. Can you beat her? Are you going to make it? She's coming. Come on, guys. See if you can beat Laura to find a Bible. She's coming. Have you got yours? She's here. I'm back. Now, we need to find Hebrews. So see if you can beat Laura to find Hebrews in a Bible. Do you know where it is? Is it at the beginning? Is it in the middle? Is it at the end? Oh, I can't find it. She can't oh, find it, can you? Oh, no, I, I think I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Okay. She's got it. Okay, right. guys. So, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. As for us, we have this large crowd of witnesses around us. So then... Let us rid ourselves of everything that gets in the way and of the sin which holds on to us so tightly and let us run with determination the race that lies before us. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus on whom our faith depends from beginning to end. Race, a race. I don't think I'm gonna be much good at this, Faye. I'm really not very good at running. That's okay. This is a different kind of race. It's the race of faith. It means that all of us who are following God, who are Christians, are on a race, on a journey of faith. Being a Christian, it isn't like so much a fact about you, like saying, I like cheese or I've got brown hair. It's actually about saying, I'm on a journey towards God, a bit like a race. Oh, I see. That makes sense. Each of us is on a journey of faith. But journeys can be scary and they can be long. What happens if I get lost? Have a look again at the start of verse 2. Let us keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, on whom our faith depends from beginning to end. Exactly. The key phrase there, keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. We're not alone in this race of faith. Jesus has gone before us. So if we're feeling lost, we look ahead to Jesus. He shows us the way. Tom! Hi Tom, how's the race going? It's going really well guys, I'm very excited. Well done, so what's the route? How, how do you know where you're going? Well, I'm about halfway through, but I don't know the rest of the course. I just follow the people in front of me. Wow, good luck Tom. I think we ought to cheer Tom on. I guys so. at home, why don't you join in with us? Let's cheer on Tom in his race. Come, come on Tom, come on Tom, come on Tom. Thanks guys. So, just like Tom knows the way that he's going in his race, because he's following the others, we follow Jesus in our race of faith, so we know where to go. I see. That's really reassuring. Even when I feel like I'm lost, I can follow Jesus to find out the way. Yeah, he always shows us the way. Even the disciples struggled on their journey of faith, and they had to ask Jesus questions. One time, they said to Jesus... How do we pray? So Jesus showed them how to pray and what to pray so that they knew the way to go as they grew on their journey towards God. I think I remember reading about that in the Bible. Next time I feel lost in my faith, I'm definitely going to have a look at what Jesus says. Tom, how 
how's it going? Oh, oh dear, you're looking tired. How's the race? I'm really tired. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to the finish line. Oh no, Tom, you train so hard. You can definitely do it. I don't know if the training's going to be enough. I might just have a sit down. No, no, Tom, you can do it. You're not on your own. We're with you. We're cheering you on. Just think, you're going to make it all the way to the end. Keep your eyes fixed on the end, and we're with you to cheer you on. Guys, I think Tom's going to need a lot of encouragement this time. Can you help us? We're going to have to cheer really loudly, guys. Are you ready? Come on, Tom! Come on, Tom! Come on, Tom! OK, I think I can do it. Thanks for the encouragement, guys. See you later. You can do it! Come on, Tom! This is another great example for us, Laura. Just like Tom needs us to cheer him on so he can keep going when he's feeling tired, we need people to cheer us on in our faith when we're feeling stuck or, or we're struggling. But who's going to cheer me on? Well, in that chapter, right at the start of Hebrews 12, it said there was this great cloud of witnesses. And that means that all those heroes of the faith that we were looking at last week are like a big crowd cheering us on. Imagine the scene, a big stadium filled with all those wonderful heroes from the Bible. And they're saying to you, come on, Laura, you can do it. Keep going. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Oh, wow, that's really going to help me keep on going when I feel like I don't know where God is or I don't know what he's doing in my life. Yeah, sometimes the journey of faith is really hard and God feels far away and we need that encouragement. We can remember those heroes of the faith and how they trusted God and almost as we remember them, we can hear them cheering us on. Tom! I finished. I made it. Thanks, guys. Amazing. Thank you at home. Well done. That's incredible. We're so proud of you, Tom. Go and get some rest. Thanks, guys. See you later. So today, we've learned from Hebrews 12 that we are all on a race of faith as we follow God. We need people to cheer us on, and we can look to those heroes of the faith to do that. And whenever we're feeling tired or we need to keep going or we're feeling lost, keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, and he shows us the way. So for our craft this week, we want you to make a running shoe. A bit like this one, there are instructions in the resource. And on the back, we'd love you to write those heroes of the faith, the people that inspire you in your faith to encourage you to keep going. So the challenge this week is to go on a walk or a run as a family and see what you can learn about the journey of faith from this. Why don't you look at the resource for more details about both the craft and the challenge. And before we pray today, we're going to sing about how we can talk to God in prayer and he hears us no matter when we pray, how we pray, where we pray or what we say.
Fantastic. Now we've reminded ourselves that God is going to hear our prayers. It's time to pray. We're going to hand over to the Northover family and they're going to lead us in prayer for different types of families and children who might be struggling at this time. Northovers, over to you. Hello! 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 Hello. <laughs> we are going to pray now. We are going to pray for what we're thankful for and we're going to pray for children and families because it's coming... Uh, because it's coming up to Christmas when Jesus was born into a family as a child. Rosie? Yeah? Do you want to come and say a prayer? Thank you, God, for all the parents. Thank you, God, for family. Thank you, God, for food. Thank you, God, for Christmas trees. Thank you, God, for Daniel and Melissa and... and and Thank you, God, for the stars. Thank you, God, that Jesus came to save us. Amen. Thank you, God, that you came to be a little baby like us. That you came to be a little baby in a situation where there was conflict and where there was broken families. And you know what that's like. And you come to bring healing and peace and forgiveness. <laughs> Do you know where Manoush is from? She's from somewhere called Armenia. Can you say that? Armenia. Armenia. Can you say that at home? Armenia. Armenia. And lots of people in her country are very sad at the moment, aren't they? Why are they sad? Because there's been lots of fighting there. And some of the families can't be together. And some of the families might have got very hurt, haven't they? And so we want to pray for those those families that I, have mommy, been hurt. I'm going to give some plasters on them. That would be nice. We also need God's plasters that are even bigger. So can you pray that God would touch all of the families in Armenia for us? All the families in Armenia. Yeah. Should we pray together? Should we say, please, God. In Armenia. Help the families in Armenia. Can you pray that? In the country. In the country. That you would help all the families that can't be together this Christmas and all the families that are really struggling. Oh, we love that you would give them your oh, love. Please, God, help all of the children who don't have a safe and loving family. I pray that you would put them in families where they will be looked after, where there will be happiness and peace and joy. Go on, Susie. Please, God, help to help all the children who don't help friends that they will be happy when lockdown is finished. Please help all the children to be feel safe with their family. Amen. 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 Okay, it's time for our last song. We're going to sing My Lighthouse that talks about Jesus being the one shining in the darkness and we're following him on that race of faith. In my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea In the silence In the silence you won't let go In my questions your truth will hold Your great love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea
I've already watched all my favourite Christmas films, eaten loads of Christmas cookies, and tonight, me and my housemates are having our first Christmas dinner. Wow, now that is early, Laura. Well, as a church, over the next two Sundays, we're going to be celebrating Christmas together in our services, so there won't be any family worship. So what are we doing next weekend, then? So next Sunday is our carol service. Why don't you come and wear your Christmas jumper as you watch it at home? It's going to feel really Christmassy singing all those carols together. And then the Sunday after is going to be our, in our morning service is going to be our Christmas family celebration. And there's going to be the kids nativity drama. It's going to be a great couple of Sundays. We really hope you, that you can join us. Thank you for coming this morning. It was great to see you. Bye. Bye.